today on Always Hungry, we're making pork souvlaki. So we have some beautiful pork tenderloins here. We have some beautiful pizza breads. We're gonna make a nice homemade tzatziki and fiery bad boys on the grill. Let's get going. First step, we have to do some butchering on this little pork tenderloins here. Take the silver skin off. Take that silver skin off. Let that pork breathe. Okay, perfect. And then the goal is to cut this tenderloin into some cubes to put on skewers, which what is the souvlaki. All right, now next step, I'm gonna cut this into some dice size to put on skewers. You don't wanna make it too small because it's gonna shrink and there's some nice cubes like this. That's kind of the size you want your piece of pork to be. Like this, that's what, like one inch by one inch cubes. There you go, it's good. And then maybe when you get to the thicker part, you can probably cut it in half like this and go right in the middle. Little bone, little bone here, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Cut it in half in the middle like this. And then in cubes again. Okay, all the pork is cubed up. Now it's time for a quick marinade. We're gonna do it the Greek style. Very simple, but very full of flavor. We're gonna do basically some oregano, some lemon zest, some lemon juice, some very high quality olive oil, some salt, and uh, that's pretty much it. So first step, lemon, there's zest some on there. So we'll do zest of uh, three lemons. The juice of one lemon, maybe. Now some lemon juice. Should do the juice of one lemon and a half, I think. Should be good. We have the garlic here. We'll do a few cloves again with the microplane. You can grate some garlic right on there. We'll do four cloves. Okay, so there you go. Garlic is good. And now I'm gonna put some uh, oregano in there as well. It's falling off here. The set, set's falling off. We're good. Okay. Some dried mountain oregano right on top. Just like this, you know, just, just shake it, just shake it, just shake it. More passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more passion. You can just <laughs> drink on the oregano. Okay. Perfect. Parfait. Time for some olive oil. Obviously, I'm gonna use the best olive oil in the world. To be generous, you know, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. Some black pepper. And we'll do the salt at the very end so it doesn't cook the meat. We'll cure it. So once we have the meat on the skewers, we'll do the salt. Okay, and now, we can use the good old hands, clean hands to mix it up. So get in there, oh, the lemon juice. So just mix it in there nicely with your hands, it's fine. And now we can let this marinate for at least half an hour. The longer the better, I would say four hours is perfect. You can take it up to 24 hours if you want. For us, it's gonna be half hour, good enough. Let's do it, okay. So, you know, for me, souvlaki means one thing, a good tzatziki. I have this beautiful yogurt here, Greek yogurt, because you know, we're in Greece, it's 5% fat, and that's what you want. The nice, the fattier, the better. So for this, obviously, we'll need some cucumbers, and um, we're gonna chop these in tiny little cubes and add these to the yogurt. So there's two tricks for this. Usually you can like use a grater 
and get it all the way up in like a, in a cheese slot and then get all the excess water out, add it to your gourd. But here, we're in a farm, you know it's rustic, so we'll just dice it up nicely and uh, have some more texture, you know, it's fine. So, yeah. so we'll just do some nice little pieces like this. Like this. And then, what you can do is kind of go like this. The smaller the better, guys. So just like this, nice little stripes first. Strips of cucumbers, I mean. So then, you wanna just cut these like in little dices. That's a good size, that's a good size. There we go, this can go in the yogurt. Now some garlic, again with the microplane, nice and fine in there. I'm gonna do a bunch of garlic, cause you know what? I like when it's like a little, a little spicy, you know? So a lot of garlic is good. And then you can kiss your loved one and then make sure she also has some tzatziki. So now you guys have both. Very strong garlic breath, and you know what? It's perfect. That's how I like it. That's what real life is, you know? Just go for it. Don't be shy. Now, I know some of you might say it's not traditional or wrong, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta make it your own, you know? That's my version of it. If you don't like it, you know, it's fine. That's mine. So, chopped dill. Rustic, you know? By the farm, rest. Dill goes in, perfect, like this. Voila. And then I'll put some lemon juice as well. Again, not traditional, but it's mine. It's my way, baby. My rules. One more. The juice of one lemon. And then you can hit it with a bunch of salt. Best salt in the world. That should be good. Some black pepper, freshly cracked. Good amount, you know, it can be generous. Take your time. And now we'll put some olive oil in there as well. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, now we can mix it up. Oh wow, the smell is already incredible. Just hold it in your hands like a baby. It's fine. Time to taste the tatsiki, check the seasoning. Mmm, c'est parfait. All right, this thing go in the fridge and then on to the fries. Next step, the garnish. We have some beautiful tomatoes here. Take the core off like this. Kobe it. And then cut it in half. This, and we do some nice slices. These can go on there. Look at that beautiful tomato. Nice and wrapped, baby. Now we have a beautiful red onion. Cut this very thinly, because you only have one. Cut the core off so it's easier to cut. Ding, ding. ding. You can just peel it off. There we 
go. Beautiful onion. Like this. Give it some volume, you know, make it look good. This can go right next to our tomatoes. Now we have some beautiful potatoes. We're gonna make some homemade fries. First step, let's put some oil on the heat, on the fire. All right, so we have a beautiful grill here like this. So pop around there. And now the crazy part is, you know, we're in Greece, so we'll fry them in olive oil. How crazy is that? Not even crazy, let's do it. Oh, yeah. So we have the oil on the fire, and now we're gonna cut these into fries. Keep the skin on, want it rustic, nice little crunchy outside. This one's kind of a weird shape, so we'll just get this tip off. Perfect. This one, maybe this. Hello. So we'll just go like this. I want the most fucked up shape of fries as possible. So this is good. See, that's a perfect fry for me. Nice and chunky, baby. There you go, so that's the perfect size for the fries. Like I said, keep it rustic. It doesn't have to be even. It's not McDonald here, guys. You know, just make it look nice. That's good for me. As you can see, the pot is pretty hot. You know, it's not ideal to have flames on there, but you know, we're outside, so we have to make it work. So there you go. Fries in. And it's frying, baby. Let's go. Whew. Right on the edge. Now we have the fries in the oil. It's time for some skewers. So I add these that were soaking in water for 24 hours, so they don't burn when we put them on the fire. So just go right in there, kind of make it work. There's no rules here, guys. Just put it on a stick, you know. This, this, you have some little flappy pieces, you can pull them in half like this, there you go, perfect. As long as they're all the same size, and this, you know, it's perfect. So that's a pretty good size for a skewer, I think. See, that is a perfect skewer. Okay, put these on there while we do the rest, and yeah. Perfect, the fries are good to go. We'll put them in a bowl with a paper towel. I only have some tongs, so we have to go like this. Hold them out. Oh, look at these puppies. Nice. Get some oil out. That's perfect. These fries are goddamn beautiful. I gotta say so myself. Okay, so paper off. All the grease is in there, that's good. Now, obviously fries need some salt. So we have some beautiful salt here. Toss it up like this. And you know, because we're in Greece, a little bit more oregano. It's like you need to have it, you know, it's, it should be in there. Just put it in there. Okay, and now, we toss, we toss, we toss, we toss, we toss, we toss. More passion, more passion, more energy, more energy. More tossing, more tossing. The salad, the salad. Okay. And now, you know, because I'm the chef, I get, oh, someone wants to fry. What's up, buddy? Let's try one. Mmm. 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 Mm. Wow. What? Wow. Bit more salt. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fries are good to go, bro. Now it's time to put the skewers on the grill. Our beautiful souvlaki, right on there. Nice and hot. Line them up, baby, line them up. Now it's time for some salt. Be generous with the salt. Pork, lives of salt. And you hear the sound? There's a smoky salt action going on right now. Let's switch you on, baby. Beautiful. Okay, let's check on the skewers here. A little flip do. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Look at that color. Ah. 
Always give some love to your souvlaki. I have some beautiful oil here, some oregano. I'm just gonna do a base like this, you know? Just give some love. The smell is unreal right now. So one thing I like to do at the end is take my dried oregano that I have left here, almost nothing, just put it underneath here and do a little smoked oregano, you know, get that nice smoky flavor at the end. It should smoke now. It just smoke any second now. It should smoke now. Look at this beautiful smoke. That's oregano, baby. These can go on a plate. Look at this beautiful char. Mamma mia, that is exactly what you want. So these are good to go. It's now time to assemble our souvlaki. Let's go. And now it's time to assemble our beautiful souvlaki. Let's do it. We have beautiful toasted pita bread here. Oh, this one's nice and hot. Whew. Tatsiki in there. Generous with the tzatziki, I like it when it's not, you know, no one likes to dry souvlaki. And then we'll do some uh, pork and then take a nice little skewer here, like this. And then you want to just kind of like pull the stick out like this. <gasps> oh, oh no. It's so good. Next, tomatoes. There's on the side. It's good, some onions. And, because we're in Greece, we're going full greasy, baby. Fries in it. Ain't it? And that is the most beautiful souvlaki in the world, baby. Look at this. This side. Mm. And now, for my favorite part of every episode, it's tasting time. All right, thanks, Papa. Mm. 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 It might be the best blackie I had since I got here. Mm. I'm a little biased, but wow, this is so good. Mm. 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 If you like that video as much as I I love this souvlaki. Please go like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry. And today, I have nothing to show. Mm. I'll see you next time.